The king's next cruel action is revealed by Palace Insider as Harry continues to demand an apology and has his status shut off. Does anyone have a spare apology to offer? A recent story claims that Prince Harry is still seeking an apology from his family as hostilities linger on. The Duke of Sussex's relationship with the organization and its members has been tense for a while, and some have predicted that it may be years before things can be made right. Harry has demonstrated his willingness to put aside his resentments in order to stand by the family on significant occasions, but he is not anticipated to attend the ceremony marking the first anniversary of the late Queen's passing with the King and other senior royals. According to a correspondence from a palace source that royal insider Gareth Russell received, Prince Harry supposedly still demands and expects a complete apology, but accounts may differ. The royal family's viewpoint has not changed from this. As far as we can determine, Harry owes his family an apology, the royal family, however, does not. According to Palace Insider, neither King Charles nor the company will issue an apology. His assertions will have credibility if the royal family issues an apology now that the Sussexes are a joke. They want to be respected, and an apology will help them feel better about their complaints. The British royal family has come to the realization that Meghan and Harry are not seeking reconciliation, it will only reinforce the victim acting norm. Catherine's attempts to appease and calm the seas following the extravagant wedding by gifting flowers evolved into an admission of guilt. Harry, on the other hand, is prepared to accept responsibility and apologize for the harm he has done to his family. Harry's statement that, well, men don't marry for love, doesn't offend me. After sharing a deep love with Prince Philip for 76 years, Queen Elizabeth sat alone in a cathedral for his funeral, holding back her emotions. That shouldn't ever be forgotten, in my opinion. While Harry sat on Oprah and lied through his teeth, the Korean lost the soul mate she had loved her entire life. I'm aware that they lied a lot, but this one hurt the most. It happens after last week's booking a palace removed any mentions to Harry being his royal highness on the official royal website. According to royal specialists, 15 Commonwealth lawmakers also aim to totally revoke the status of any corrupt royal members, and more than 50% of the populace is in favor of removing Prince Harry from the line of succession to prevent him from ever becoming king. The 1504 participants who were questioned by Delta Poll were disclosed in an exclusive poll for men on Sunday. 52 voted in favor of the proposal to remove the Duke of Sussex from his position as the fourth in line to the throne behind William's children, Lewis, George, and Charlotte, and his brother, the Prince of Wales. Only 27 respondents were opposed to the concept of removing Prince Harry's birthright, while 21 others had no opinion. In addition, 51 respondents said that Harry and his young family should have their titles withdrawn immediately. The children in Lilibert can use the titles of prince and princess because they are the grandchildren of the current king, King Charles, saving themselves from further embarrassment, the royal family from further humiliation, and the British people from further boredom. The prince and his wife retain the titles of Duke and Duchess of Sussex. Harry has the option of giving up his titles, but he won't do so since he needs a connection to the British royal family in order to be taken seriously earn money, and maintain his entitled lifestyle. He is without morals.